Nation. Uh, we are bringing you another edition of Tuffy Talk, and we're going to do something a little different on this episode. We're going to do a retrospect of Dave Dorn's first year, kind of commemorating his second decade at NC State as the head football coach. So we kind of would thought it would be kind of neat to kind of look back and see what he started with and kind of where we've come from since then. So uh, as always, we're joined by Michael and Macon. Uh, Let's get right into it, guys. Um, so we're going to break this down, and we're going to look at the recruits. We're going to look at the offensive stats that year. We're going to look at the defensive stats that year. And then we'll just kind of go what happened with the schedule that year. So um, as I was going through this, and and I got the, kind of the commits that, that happened that year, it's very interesting to see how different recruiting is now 10 years ago, yeah. right? Because, you know, gone are the days of 20, you know, well, we'll say 18 to 23 people in a recruiting class. So we'll start there. Kind of what do you guys think about that? It's 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 vastly different. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't think you see obviously the transfer portal is not as signif- is is mo- way more significant, I should say, than it was before. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I think it's the biggest difference. Um, I don't know if there's other things with uh, how how timing works with some recruiting, but. Uh, you're seeing a lot more influence, even influence, even more so with social media kicking into things. Um, those are just a few things off my bed. I'm sure coaches could tell you a heck of a lot more things than I could, but yeah. those are just a few things off the top of my head. For sure. Yeah, Michael, in that class, 23 enrollees. Like, I don't think you're ever going to see that many from a high school perspective again, unless obviously the rules could change. But what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look that way, at least for – for NC state, um, you know, the last couple of years have been, I think 16 or 17. And then like the, the, the 2021 class, I think was 12. It was, that was really small. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the, some of the bigger schools, like if you look at the recruiting ranking, some of the top schools are still taken, still taken 20, 23, 25 man classes. Um, but I, I'm sure even that, that will change. Yeah, just looking through this, uh, so just kind of a really quick breakdown. Um, one, we took one quarterback that year. We took three running backs, three wide receivers, four offensive line, two D-line, four linebackers, four defensive backs, and two special teamers. Um, so uh, a very big class. Uh, again, majority of the, the players that were in the state of North Carolina with nine of those players and then seven from Florida. And then there was a few others. Um Coincidentally, there was two from Michigan that year, so you don't really see a, a lot of Michigan kids coming this way. But no, no. But uh, looking through, just I'm not going to go through the whole list here. I'm just going to hit some notable names, uh, folks that people will probably recognize. Um, Matt Matt Days was, was in that class, um, you know, so a, a big producer. Uh, Josh Jones, who's now in the NFL. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to hold it there. I'm, I'm going to go with this. Yeah. So I, looked through, I counted six guys on this team, five maybe, uh, that are um, were in our current NFL players or legit who were had like a legit NFL career for a little bit there. Do you yeah. know who those guys were on that team? So, I mean, I have the list in front of me, so I, I definitely would be cheating. <laughs> but uh, Okay, let's go with Michael then because, Michael, I'm curious what you – if you can uh, think of it. Anybody at the top mm-hmm. of your head you might know. Not not from the recruiting class or that was on the roster that year? That was on the roster. Oh, okay. You, you don't recruit. Uh, well, I, maybe I'm saying it's Seth I don't Bar- know. Seth no, Bar- I, I mean, not off the top of my head. No, I couldn't name it. So, Cause I'm trying to think. We look at NC State, and that was one of Dave Doran's worst class, worst teams, we would say, ever. Yeah. Yeah. Other still, than some, yeah. still a little bit of I talent mean, on there. First year, yeah. Right? So... So you I can know, tell you, just going off of this, off the recruiting list, you have two legitimate NFL guys. One started at State and didn't finish here. Any idea who that might be, Michael? That might be an easy one. That was I know this uh, one. Valdez Scantling. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. NC State, great. <laughs> yeah. And then Josh Jones, I would say he's had a mm-hmm. pretty steady NFL career um, at safety. Um, and yeah. then a couple of guys on here that um, had a cup of coffee, if you will. Um, sure. So, um, friends. Well, I would you know, say, I'm seeing here, you look at the 2013 roster, right? No, I'm I'm do, I'm talking strictly from recruiting, just from to commit from that standpoint. Year. I got yeah. you, I got yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, Valdez, Scantling, and uh, the guy you said there. I'm blanking. Josh Jones. Oh, Josh Jones. Yeah, those are the yeah. only two I can think of. Yeah. Um. So who were the other ones that you have? Um. That weren't. So obviously you said six. So four. Four. Four would have been already 
on the roster coming into that year uh, with the two yeah. recruits that I mentioned. So, who so, are the other ones? um, so I would put, you know, Josh Jones and Valdez Scantling. Yep. Uh, Jacoby Brissett was on that team. Apparently. I didn't remember that happening. That must have been transferred. No. In. That must have it says it. It says it online. I don't think that's right. I thought he was fourteen. He's right. He's fourteen. Yeah. Because he is listed on the twenty thirteen roster online. Yeah. On the, the official website. No, on the Go Pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Oh, that's. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right either. No, he was definitely not. He was definitely. Let's look at his full bio. Let's look at his full bio here. It says, "Uh, no." <laughs> He was na- he was on the team. He says he was uh, named the Wolfpack's offensive scout team player of the year. Yeah, so he was out the season step- out set, set out the season that after a, transferring that's right, from Florida. That's a sit out season. Oh right, because yeah, they like to serve on that's teams. Old school, right, right, old school transfer about rules. That rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To sit out. Yeah, so I guess yep. he was. Technically, that's, that's the yeah. one difference there. So Jacoby yeah. was on the roster. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Jessup Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessup protects the things you love so you can spend less time worrying and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Um, so you had your cover set on that team. You had, and remember for those who forget, that was basically when he was at Florida, it came down to state and West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was that. There was uh, Joe Tooney. Yeah. Uh, Joe Tooney's on that roster. Three-time Super Bowl champ. Yep. And um, kind of Justin sc- Burris. Uh, Burris was one of them. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to scroll through here because I was trying. I just looked this up and I forgot the other guys. Um, Burris and I feel like Gerard Fernandez had a little bit of time Jared in the NFL. Well, I'm also say I thought I thought there the Greenwich did for a second. Mm-hmm. Greenwich did for like a second. I thought. Matt yeah, Hayes and then you had I mean, Farrow. He was in. The, he oh, was in there. I know the other one. You said Farrow McKeever. Yeah. I was gonna say Ty. Ty, T-Y was on this McGill. team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. he was just he was still in the league last year. I know. Yeah. I yeah. think he's in the league this year now. I think he's just kind of making his rounds a little bit here and there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's some players on this team, but you know, you look at the kind of talent state can put out now. I mean, it's it's so different. This this team, I'm trying to look at what was what would you yeah. guys do you guys have any thoughts about we missed another one, by the way. I did. Yeah, Dante Johnson. Jeez. Oh. There are so many people on this yeah. team. Wow. And then Jack Where Jack Tocho at? was in the league for, for about a year or two. I think Dante yeah. Johnson was on this team. Yeah. I feel like wow. Gavin Locklear was in the NFL for a minute, too. <laughs> I'm just thinking like guys who had legit careers. Yeah. yeah. Dante Johnson, Joe Tooney, <laughs> yeah. uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling, T.Y. Um, McGill. T.Y. McGill. There's another one I yeah. think I had there for, and Jacoby. Oh, yeah. I think that's the yeah. six I was thinking of. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's um, just, did you look, I mean, I'm looking back at that schedule. I mean, we didn't win a single ACC game that year. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> let's look at the schedule. We, that was, yeah. Yeah. I did. mean, that was a year where we struggled to beat Richmond. Yeah. Who was, well, I guess they're still not division one in football, are they? Yeah. Louisiana, they Louisiana Tech whooped them. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember. And this yeah. is when they had the campaign. Was this the campaign where they had the "This is our state" year? I, it, it may have been. It says, it says, I'm looking at. It. I'm looking at the schedule. It says Louisiana Tech. That with the theme that game was "This is our yep. state day." <laughs> yeah, that is so. Yeah, that was stupid. tough. Yeah, that was a that was a rough so one. <laughs> yeah, I don't every... think you go with that slogan your coach's first year. Like maybe More now than... you could do that, but especially with the amount of teams, I always hated that from the time they announced it because the, the amount of teams in North Carolina, you're going to lose against other North Carolina teams and they're just going to throw it back in your face. Oh, yeah. Like if there's only like maybe two schools in a state and you dominate the rivalry, <laughs> um, you know, may, I, I would like that. But why, why do I also feel like this was the year that we w- pretended we were ECU and did the whole state outline and put the wolf because on it? Because that went with this is our state. Yeah, and, yeah that was yeah. the year that we did that. We couldn't come up right. with an original what idea. A dumb idea. Yeah. Yeah. But um, hey, here we can we can, yeah, let's go through the schedule here. 
it's not much to go through. <laughs> go hell, no. But, I mean, I who's mean, the, what's the best win? Louisiana Tech, Louisiana Richmond, Tech, or Central Michigan? 14. Hey, that's, I think Doran that probably I think looked the like one, the right? greatest coach out there starting well, off. First was that game, Pat Thomas? For who? Uh, Pete, mm-hmm. Thomas, Pete, Pete Thomas. Thomas. Pete Thomas. Pete Thomas. And yeah, uh, yeah it would been uh, Brandon Mitchell came out and he started it, it, and he looked. I remember watching it and thinking the first dry or two like. Holy cow, we look amazing. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I don't know if you remember that, too. but I was I was a student there yeah. my junior year and I was like, we look awesome. And then you know, flatline, right? Did, the whole rest of the season. Yeah. Was it, this, that's funny. We we're talking about transfer portal and we had two transfers starting. Was this that Harrison year. Beck that year too? Or no, was that, that was after him. Was it after it, him? It was okay. Brandon Mitchell, Pete Thomas. So Brandon Mitchell was a transfer from Arkansas, I think. So I, I remember the, the offensive line coach was Yuremovich. You had um, who was the uh, the 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 uh, the wide receivers coach? What was the guy's name? Uh, I don't I don't remember. Layton could tell you because Layton was on the roster. Yeah. I'm trying to do Layton justice. Well, yeah, he, he, yeah, I know. He'd be just Clayton White was on the team. I think he was a safeties coach. Um, receivers I mean, Mac, coach was was Matt Kennedy. He went to Is Temple. He went to Temple after that. I can't remember the guy's name. Golly, okay, let's look at NC State. Yeah, that's Rock. what I'm doing right now. But I, I believe Matt Canada was the offensive coordinator that year. Yeah, right? I think he that was, was too. You're right. Yeah. You're right. His first, you're right there. It's crazy his, his career path too. I'm gonna see this name. And it's gonna. I'm gonna be so disappointed in myself because I know this name. Um, we're gonna be yeah. move on because I'm gonna blank. I'm just blanking. Yeah, here. Uh, yeah. Huxtable was the D coordinator. Mm-hmm. Um, that's as far as I'm finding as far as coaches. Yeah, and um, I think Canada was the was the he was off offensive coordinator. Yeah. But yeah, the quarterbacks that year, I think yeah, Brandon Mitchell. Now I don't remember. Did Brandon Mitchell start? He started that first game, like you said. Did he get hurt? Or yeah. Did they bench? They got hurt. Yeah. I think he got hurt. That's what I was say. Yeah. Here we it go. Was I like got the, the co- it's like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I got the, I got all the coaches. I found it. Uh, Eddie Who Faulkner was, uh, was the Titans. Titans foot fullbacks and um, co co coordinator. Yep. Frisman Jackson is oh, your Oh, Frisman Jackson. That's <laughs> who it great was. Frisman Jackson. How could you forget? Layton. I don't think Lane liked that guy very much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I forgot what he had. Jeremovich was an O-line coach. I don't know why I remember him. Oh, Des here's... Kitchings was your, yep. your running back coach. Yep. Um, yep. So Huxbull handled linebackers. I mentioned Clayton yep. White was your safeties coach. Yep. Your corner coach. I got it right here if you need it. Um. Ryan Ryan McNe- Ryan no, Nielsen getting, was he not the D yes line he coach? was the D line coach yes yeah I'm trying to discover it. and the CB R- coach Richard McNutt mm. that was my next guess <laughs> yeah <it was> so <laughs> close I so actually close. I remember that name but yeah 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 um but yeah so you had you know where, Ryan Nielsen where are those guys now like make him at Canada and Ryan well, Nielsen well they're they're coordinators in the in the NFL now Matt Canada right. still at the Steelers yeah yep. and then Nielsen is the D coordinator at the Saints. Yeah, where did where did Dave Huxbull end up? I, I think he pretty that. much like was done. He bounced. He, no, he he bounced around. Last uh, last job, I think he was a uh, analyst. I what I was going to say. He's Alabama. Alabama. So now Alabama. I just looked at Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons hired him as a de, a senior defis, de, defensive assistant. So he's with that, the Atlanta Falcons. That just means you're old. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> All right, Wolfpack Nation. So, unfortunately, we completely forgot to pause and end part one. But don't worry, we will pick up our conversation in part two. So, with that being said, just as a reminder, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we release any new NC State content. And you'll be notified on all your devices. And if you enjoyed this conversation, hit that like button and give us a follow. Tuffy Talk Now on Twitter or Instagram. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always, go Pack, y'all. <laughs>